You know, a wise man once said to me, with great power comes typically a jewel or an orb or some sort of thing to contain it. And if you lose that, you're fucked. Needless to say, I took that guy's power orb, and if he was so wise, he should have seen that coming. Meaning his advice is probably worthless, as is this stupid orb, taking up valuable space on my mantle and ruining the feng shui of the room. They say that a tidy workspace is the canvas by which a painter drafts his own destiny. I say that's pretentious. You may be wondering, Wondering what I'm getting at here with this terrible advice given by idiots. Well, that's the crux of all this, isn't it? Philosophy is like a game of badminton against yourself. It's sad, and if you get into it, you probably have too much free time on your hands. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show to recognize the great cosmic irony of its own intros. Yeah, I'm aware. Let's move on. The Binding of Isaac is getting a supposedly for real this time final expansion, which is titled The Binding of Isaac Repentance, meaning there's still room for another one called something like the Binding of Isaac Absolution. Like, this is gonna go on for as long as there's biblical terms and fetus words. Spider-Man got a trailer for its first DLC, which stars Black Cat, who, yeah, is in, like, every other Spider-Man game and is basically just Catwoman, but she's also a Turbo Babe, so, you know. In eh, news, goofy lip Superman himself, Henry Cavill, will be playing Geralt of Rivia in the upcoming Witcher Netflix series. This is both reassuring and concerning. Concerning because I've only really seen him as Superman. I don't really like him as Superman. But reassuring because Netflix is going after a big serious Hollywood actor. That means it's a big serious Hollywood production. Sega's going to announce a new IP from the Yakuza developers next month. And if it's not quirky, you know what I'll do? I'll be like, uh... Damn. Scum, which is a game about prisoners murdering the fuck out of each other, is Devolver Digital's biggest launch to date. Also, I guess there was a Nazi tattoo or something in it, and it got removed. Which might or might not have been a PR stunt in the first place. I don't know. I, I see people talking about it, but I didn't see people mad about it. Again, this is a game about murderous prisoners, so it's not like it would be out of place. Fortnite on PS4 is not going to be getting crossplay. According to a statement from Sony Chief Executive Kenichiro Yoshida, on cross-platform. Our way of thinking is always that PlayStation is the best place to play. Fortnite, I believe, partnered with PlayStation 4 is the best experience. Allegations have not been confirmed or denied that there was a follow-up statement. Oh! <gasps> oh! I'm Lyle Rath, and this has been Pre-Game Discharge. Come back next week, or should I say, next strong.